Hello there and uh, welcome to another edition of Rabbit Types where I take your pictures of your bunny and uh, we try to diagnose what uh, breed, color, and um, uh, pattern type that your rabbit is. And today I got an email from Rachel and um, her email says, I was wondering if you might know what breed my rabbits might be. I have a lop-eared bunny named Hutch, which I was told was a French lop, but I really have my doubts that he is a French lop. I thought he may be a spotted English lop, but I really don't know. And I got a little girl bunny from a shelter, Blinky Banana Pants. Love the name. Uh, they said she was a ho-tot, but she doesn't look like one to me. I'm not sure what she is. Any guesses would be appreciated. Thanks. Okay, I actually have the um, the uh, video on Blinky Banana Pants right now. I love that name. That's awesome. Uh, but we're going to switch over to Hutch first because part of what I'm going to tell you about Hutch will explain uh, Blinky Banana Pants. Okay, so right now we're looking at Hutch and uh, Rachel wasn't sure whether he was a French lop or a or a what was it an spotted English lop and unfortunately Rachel didn't send me a uh, weight in but my guess is this rabbit is between five and seven pounds um, between the way he carries his ears the way his body is um, he's got a short uh, back end back here long ears go past the chin uh, plus he's a uh, what we call a broken black which I'm going to explain in a minute here um, I would say you probably do not have a French lop um, unless for some reason the video the pictures are showing me something different uh, he looks 100 percent mini lop uh, a lot of confusion in that people think mini lop well he's not a small rabbit he's got to be a larger size rabbit Mini lops are not small. They're about five to seven pounds. Holland lops are the ones that are actually the small rabbits. Uh, so mini lops are a larger size rabbit. And this is this is a good size bunny here. Um, he's got the nice rounded face. Um, the uh, French lops have a much longer uh, body. Uh, there there's just more distinction in the face. Um, I can usually tell a, a French lop from anything. Um, French lops are much bigger too. French lops can get up to 12 pounds plus. Um, on the small size, they're 8 pounds. Um, but that's if you got a really skinny small one. This is most likely um, a, in a um, mini lop. Now she mentioned that she thought he was a spotted English. Uh, Rachel never told me what country she was from either. She seems like she's in the U.S., but I could be mistaken. In, I believe in England they call this this spotting color English. In the U.S. we call it broken. Now there is an actual breed called an English spot and we went over it in a in a different video, an earlier video about what makes an English spot. But I'm going to real quick jump over to that page. This is an English spot. Um, between the body type being the tall arching hair type body, uh, the small freckles, uh, very regal bunny, um, very uncommon. You do not see these out and about a lot. Uh, most likely, if you have a rabbit with spots, it is not an English spot. It would be a very rare occurrence. And normally, it, you'd have to get it directly from the breeder uh, to know, to, to be sure that you have an English spot. Um, they're very easy to spot. And, huh, that's a joke, English spot. Um, they're e very easy to pick out because of these tall body types, and they also don't make that great a pet. They're they're uh, wiry, they they're hyper and high strung. So I'm not going to spend much time on this guy, but that's an English spot there. Uh, what Rachel has here is a mini lop, <coughs> excuse me, with a broken color type. Uh, broken just means that there's a white body with spots of color usually in a pattern, black nose, black around the eyes, black ears, black down the spine, and black spots on the belly. Uh, brokens can come in different colors, but this one happens to be, Hutch happens to be, a black broken mini lop. Uh, so he's he's fairly clear. Uh, there's not a lot of guess on this guy. Uh, without a, a weight for sure, but you know, just looking at the, a lot of the, the lop breeds are determined by weight. 
Um, but this is a good five to seven pound rabbit. Uh, I, there's no doubt there that this is a broken um, mini lot. Now, the broken gene, let's, let's uh, kind of explore this a little bit because this is going to explain uh, Blinky in a, in a second here. The broken gene comes from um, one parent gives the broken gene and one parent gives the regular no marking gene. Um, so there's one broken gene and one just regular gene will we'll create this pattern. And uh, fairly evenly distributed, usually they say anywhere from 25% to 75% of the body has color on it. All right, so now let's go to Blinky. And Blinky is um, what we call a Charlie. Blinky is not a Hotot. Um, this is a very common mistake, again, that people make. They see the ring around the eye, the almost all white body, and they say, aha, that's a Hotot. A uh, Hotot is uh, both a color or a, a pattern and also a breed. Um, I didn't put up, let's do a quick search here, because I should have done this before. look up Hotot Rabbit. And you have to be careful when you Google things, um, especially <coughs> breeds like this, because a lot of people assume that they have a Hotot. Like like when I looked up English Spot, these are some rabbits that showed up. Um, some of the rabbits that showed up for English Spot were very obvious. I mean, those are not English Spots. Um, they were very obviously not English Spots. That is, that is. But a lot of people assume they are, and so they put it in there in the description and of, of what they think it is and that's not what it is. So let's look up Hotot. Here's a Hotot. Uh, this is a dwarf Hotot and this is what probably be considered like a standard Hotot. Here's a very good example of somebody who thought they had a Hotot and they do not. Uh, again if you look at a Hotot you have a pure white rabbit with basically mascara around its eyes. That's how a eyeliner, um, that's how a lot of people describe it. This is a Hotot, this is a Dwarf Hotot, this is a Dwarf Hotot, this is not a Hotot. Hotots will never ever have black ears. Uh, there's a nice Hotot, not a Hotot, this is not a Hotot. You can see it's got the different color there. Um, this is the Blanc de Hotot, um, this is the larger size Hotot. Again, all white body, only black around the eye. Uh, any other examples? These are all good that not a hotot. You know, they thought it was. They put that in there. Um, so whenever you're googling to try to find out what breed your rabbit is, don't always go by the pictures. You got to have um, somebody. That's that's why I'm here, is to help you kind of uh, separate uh, those who know what they're talking about and those who don't. That's a hotot there. Again, hotot all white, only black around the ear, never ever black on the ears. So let's go back to Blinky, and we see that we've got the black around the eyes, black on the ears, got one little spot by the nose, and a couple little spots on the back. Blinky is what's called a Charlie, and Charlies are called Charlies uh, because they usually, uh, he's only, she's only got one, usually they have two black spots, one on each side of the nose, and so they have Charlie Chaplin mustaches. So that's why they call this uh, color marking a, a Charlie. Charlie is what happens when you have this broken um, color pattern. You have the gene from both parents. Both parents gave the broken gene to the baby. Um, again, when it's colored like this, 25 to 75 percent of the body with color, that means one parent gave a normal gene and the other gave a broken gene. On a Charlie, the uh, broken gene came from both parents. So this rabbit has two broken genes together, not a broken and a normal gene. And uh, that produces a Charlie. And a Charlie is any bunny that has uh, markings like this on less than 25% of the body. Uh, the the Hotot coloring uh, comes more from uh, uh, Dutch spots. Even the Vienna gene is used in there. Not so much the broken genes because you would get all this other color in there and they don't like that uh, when they actually breed for show. It cannot have any other color in it. 
So this marking isn't even really related to Hotot. I mean, I guess you could say in a stretch of the sense it, it could be. But um, this is a Hotot. Now look at looking at Breed, um, or this is a Charlie, um, not a Hotot. Looking at Breed, this is most likely a Netherland Dwarf that is missing the Dwarf gene. Uh, when a Netherland Dwarf, very similar to the, the Broken gene, uh, for a Netherland dwarf to be a dwarf, it had to inherit the dwarf gene from one of its parents. And the dwarf is, you know, just like in people, what makes it small. Um, it can only have one gene, though, from, from uh, the parents. So it has to have one normal gene, one dwarf gene. That makes a dwarf rabbit. If you have two dwarf genes together, uh, the babies don't make it past seven days. They're called peanuts. Um, they, they just don't live. They'll people have tried to raise them. It doesn't work. It never works. Um, it's a fatal gene. Uh, the babies will always will always unfortunately die. Um, but one regular gene with one dwarf gene produces a dwarf rabbit. Now what happens is then they will breed two dwarf bunnies together and one out of four of those bunnies will inherit a regular gene from both parents and no dwarf genes. And that's what I believe is the case with Blinky. Um, those rabbits tend to make it into the uh, pet trade. You know, they end up at pet stores. They end up breeders sell them. Um, even if you got your bunny from a rescue, uh, somebody bought that rabbit from somewhere in the first place, and usually from a pet store or a breeder. Uh, these are the ones that they can't show, so they they um, they try to sell them as pets. Um, so so this is a Netherland dwarf that is missing the dwarf gene, if that makes any sense. And um, they have a name for them. I keep forgetting what, what they call them. Um, but basically, from the markings too, it looks like uh, the coloring is black, uh, from the best that I can tell. So I would say that Blinky is a black um, uh, Charlie Netherland dwarf that just so happens to not have any of the actual dwarfing genes. That's what makes her a little bit bigger, her ears a little bit longer, her face is a little thinner, um, and and that's, that's my best guess there. So uh, I hope that was helpful, Rachel, to give you an idea. Uh, we have a broken black mini lop and a Charlie black Netherland dwarf without the Netherland dwarf gene. Uh, if you want to know what breed your rabbit is, then feel free to send me an email. Uh, my email will be at the end of this video. You can just shoot me an email with your pictures. Please include the weight of the rabbit, if you know it, or a guesstimate. Uh, what breed you think the rabbit may be, what country you live in, and whether or not the rabbit is a baby or a full-grown adult. Um, country does make a difference, too. Different countries have uh, tend to have different coloring, different uh, breeds are more common. So um, I hope to see your pictures soon, and we'll see you in the next video.